He's going to be behind bars for 35 years for this horrific murder of his ex-wife, Trisha Todd. And some say, including the judge, that it's not nearly enough for what he did. But Stephen Williams was found competent, so he will be behind bars for all of that time. He is a man that detectives call a monster. Stephen Williams said in his sentencing hearing with no emotion on his face at all. He'd already confessed to killing his missing ex-wife, Trisha Todd, in April. And in exchange for a 35-year plea deal, led detectives to her body, which they were horrified to discover was dismembered, buried in a barrel of acid in a remote preserve. Williams hadn't told them that part. My opinion of Stephen Williams is that he was a cold-blooded murderer that uh, the crime was, was despicable, that, that what he did was unimaginable. However horrific, Todd's father, David, spoke in court and did not tell the judge anything about his only daughter and his loss, instead addressing Williams directly. Stephen, I thank God that I can talk to you one time here. Todd saying he has totally forgiven his former son-in-law and instead of praying for his daughter, who he says no longer needs prayers, is praying each night for the man who killed her. He's the fourth person. When I come to Trisha's name, because I just kind of roll him down automatically, Wesley Kendall, Trisha, and that's Trisha's husband, Stephen. The judge said, well, Williams deserves a much harsher sentence. He praised prosecutors for taking bold action, making the plea deal and solving a murder that might never have been solved. Sheriff Snyder agrees everyone did the best they could, but says Williams' cold-blooded actions can never be rectified. He left behind a daughter who will never know uh, her mother. He left behind a daughter who will now not know her father. And he left an entire family who, who've lost a sister. There's no putting the pieces back together in this case. There's no way to put it all back right. And, and, and the system has worked, and we have collectively done the best we could. And that is the end. Of course, he can appeal. He does have 35 years now for the murder, plus five years to run at the same time for child neglect against their three-year-old daughter. As well, he has to pay $67,000 out of his estate to the sheriff's office for all the costs of the special investigation. And the Air Force is also investigating. They could tack on additional years. Live in Stewart, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.